Bomb Squad! Happy Halloween! <laughs> yeah, what's up? Okay, so, real quick, I know in the title you're expecting, uh, like, highlights from a live stream, which I've done earlier. Trust me, they're coming. Er, uh, it's coming as soon as I finish talking in this segment because I just want to get a couple things out of the way real, real quick. Okay? Cool. Alright, uh, so, basically, the, the whole stream idea came around from me having, like, a bajillion ideas for what I wanted to do for my 12 months on YouTube special because, honestly, your boy didn't think he'd be here past January. So, long story short, Halloween night a year back, 2016, was when I actually started this whole music thing. And honestly, I mean, like, if it wasn't for meeting up with DB and Short App, your boy wouldn't even be here. So I was thinking, okay, so I met them in January, and it was basically the loneliest November and December ever, because I was like, building my own style, and there was like absolutely no growth. And like, the fact that like I'm here a year later, thanks to those two starting me off, I'm me meeting so much other unbelievably awesome individuals is unbelievable. Like, I mean, like, we're here 12 months later with 360 subs, nearly 9,000 overall views, and a goddamn name for the family that is the Mother Bomb Squad! <laughs> Y'all know it, so let's go! Yeah, so basically, I wanted to do something a little different because it was a 12 month special. So, I had this idea for a stream in my head and I did do a stream, but I took that down because the damn video was an hour and eight minutes long. Hell no was anyone gonna watch a video that long. Hell, I wouldn't even watch a stream an hour and eight minutes long. I'm sorry, I have the attention span of a goldfish, let alone the memory of one. <laughs> so, what I done was, I reached out to my dude, Random Nation, right there, and I'm a dude, Max Ad. So, I don't really think they need any introduction because literally, 9 tenths, if not all of you know who both of those guys are. So, without further ado, I'm gonna let y'all get into the stream. I've chopped it down to what I consider the best parts, or like the, the main parts of the stream where the momentum was um, continuously going. And then, yeah, just sit back, relax, enjoy. And thank you so, so much for the last 12 months of absolute awesomeness. I started last October, right? I had nine subs and about 600 overall views. Absolutely nothing on what I got now. I went from that to, hold on, I'll get the actual figures. Just so you know, it's somewhat legit. So, as of this video, I got about two weeks worth of notifications to catch up on, 360 subs, and 8,912 overall views. Oh, and before I forget, um, I do see that y'all are actually getting around to doing the Project Atomic, which have actually now become the Project Bomb Squad and videos. I know there's like a few that floating around, and I promise you, two weeks time, that video is coming out. I am going to basically pick out the few that I can see and show y'all up, because I wasn't expecting anyone to go and do any of that. So yo, Thank you so much to y'all who are doing it. If you haven't already, I'll leave a link to the playlist down below so you get the main idea of videos and all that kind of stuff. Also, links for everyone mentioned in this stream will also be in the description down below. <laughs> what even accent is that? I'm inside, I don't know what accent that is. <laughs> okay, so I'm wasting enough time. Y'all can check the links down below as soon as you check out this stream. Have fun. Yo, much love from me to you and thank you so much. Bomb Squad, you are the realest, most illest, Mother fuck life, and I hella appreciate everything you've been doing for me over the past 12 months. Much love, Bomb Squad fam. Stay late. Bless. I'm doing me. Okay, and we are alive at long goddamn last. Max Ad, Random Nation, how long have we been trying to set this goddamn thing up? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> hey, look, it says we're live now at the top of the screen. That's awesome. What is good? So, I didn't see about the title. I've been 12 months on YouTube, and basically, this is hopefully going to set off as a celebration to everyone's last 12 months on YouTube, but chances are, it's going to get hijacked, and we're just going to talk about whatever, so, yeah, welcome <laughs> to the stream, and uh, yeah, thank you for letting me waste your time. <laughs> Yo, Bomb Squad, what's good? Massage, Kevin, or uh, Random Nation, shoot stuff, whoever wants to go first, I don't care. <laughs> well, guys, I'm Random Nation. Uh, I pretty much have about the most random channel there is, quite literally. Um, lately, I've been doing some science videos and stuff and everything, but I'm planning on doing a few rap videos and everything because Atomic over there has been driving me crazy to do some more rap videos, so i got to throw a couple in there. 
But uh, we're just going to see where everything goes with my channel. And I'm pretty much, if, if you tell me something to do, I'm going to try to find a way to do it. So y'all let me know and go ahead. Yo, my name is Max Ed. Just another rapper like Atomic from Ireland. And just making this channel grow every day, making music together. It's just the way we do it. This is said to be explosive as a mother. Oh, wait, no, I can't. I'm not like in a vlog, so I can't actually cut that part out. I'm gonna try and keep cussing to a minimal because, like, I don't cuss at all in my music, but you can probably tell through my vlogs that in person, every second word I say is fuck. <laughs> and there goes the fucking filter. Oh well. <laughs> don't don't make me go get the fucks capacitor for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never seen like that, like the name of that, and I was like, bro, you lying, you lying. <laughs> Yeah, please tell me, how did the Fox Capacitor come around in its creation? Please enlighten me. <laughs> well, I went a lot of Back to the Future, and then, of course, I got pissed off and just made it. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. If ever you want to travel to the future, just get pissed off and make a Fox Capacitor. <laughs> the last 12 months on YouTube, oh, my God, from then till now has been ludicrous. Like, I remember seeing all of our channels. And uh, Max, I think I met you in January or February. And then I met you a bit later on then, uh, around the random nation. Was it? Or did I meet you earlier than that? I think it was February or March, right around there when you first came over to my channel. That's right, because, like, literally, since I went over to your channels, and, like, my, my numbers from, from, from my channels have started going, like, my channels, like, my one channel, more like, <laughs> have started going, like, all the way up! <laughs> right. <laughs> Pretty explosive. <laughs> Creative, original, and explosive, guys. <laughs> when I came onto the game properly, like in the scene, my channel had nine subs. This time last year, I had nine subs and about 600 overall views. But, bro, god damn, if I owe my channel to anyone, it's both y'all and your wife, Kevin, because god damn, like, y'all got me from nine to 360 in the space of 12 months. You guys are yep. unbelievably I, I actually, amazing. I actually remember when you was down that low. And, uh... Yeah. Like, literally, I remember... Now you've done past me, dang it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I'm, at, I'm at five, uh... What am I at? 550, 560, somewhere around there. It keeps bouncing back and forth and everything, but... You know, it, it, the main thing, the best way to keep your channel going the way that you want it to go... It's just be as honest to yourself as you can be. You know, don't sit there and just try to be a fake person. Be yourself. You know, and that's what I do. And that's what Atomic does. I know that's what Amy does. And that's why we keep growing the way we're growing. Now, let me let me ask you, uh, which actually this will go for both of you and everything. Y'all can both answer this. What is your favorite video on your own channel? Oh. Um, I have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> okay, my favorite video on my channel. Um, it'll probably have to be... Like, don't get me wrong, the vlogs and all are so fun. But it'll probably have to be the, the Let's Go collab with Maxad or the, the latest Halloween job with Maxad and Jordan. Because, um, literally, because, like, the, the Let's Go collab was, like, the first kind of real aggressive kind of going all in 200% track that we dropped. And then the Halloween track, literally, when when that track got done and finished, it felt like such a weight off my chest because you can only, I guess, <clears throat> play the good guy for so long when you're when you're trying to be creative and you know get like what, whatever's in there out there. I like <clears throat> like yep. every now and then it's just so good to just absolutely explode on the track. So yeah, yeah, probably those two. What about you, my side? Yeah, I don't know. See, for me, it'd probably be my No Suck MCs 5 contest. That video I thought was pretty, probably my favorite. Either that or my latest one, What You Made Of Me. Yo, yeah, so actually, uh, Kevin, what about you? What's your favorite video? My favorite video that I did so far, out of all of them, would have to be the one where I broke the car window with the spark plug, because... It was just so funny because the first few times I threw the spark plug at the window, it didn't break. And I'm like, don't tell me this thing ain't going to work. The one time when I actually want it to work, it's not going to work. And all the times where I just was goofing around <laughs> and it worked. 
the first time around. <laughs> and I yeah. threw it when I, that final instant when I threw the spark plug, when I actually put a little more force into it and it hit that window and it busted, that feeling that went over me was like, yes, thank you. It's finally <laughs> broken. <laughs> Yo, how did that video end up coming out like? I mean, like, you broke the window on your old car. <laughs> what happened? Well, no, it wasn't my car. It was actually this lady that lives down here behind me. She locked her keys in the car and couldn't get in. And she was down there with a ball ping hammer smacking the crap out of her window, trying to bust the window. And, like, she's hitting as hard as she could, and it would not break. And I was like, look, I can break this with just a spark plug, a piece of a porcelain <laughs> off a spark plug. She's like, no, you can't. I was like, yes, I can. I promise I can. <laughs> and I was like, I've done this a thousand times. And I'm like, I grabbed that piece. I'm like, tink, crap, tink, crap. Pink crap, and finally I got mad at it and threw it as hard as I could, and it just went right through it with no problem. I was like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, like, that, you, you want that one minute I can. <clears throat> Yo, I need to break my windows to get into my car. Uh, I mean, I've got another way to go about it, maybe. <laughs> like, you know, you, you oh, know it, the car We tried to actually pry the door at the top, you know, to where we could reach in and actually unlock the door. But unfortunately, the way her car door was made, we couldn't get her hand through there. It just wasn't opening far enough. And the only other way that we could have got in there is if we had what they call a, um, what's it called? It's basically a lockpick thing that's it's a snake that you slide through the door and you actually jimmy the door open. And unfortunately, we just didn't have one at the time. And the local police down here pretty much said, hey, if it's on your property, there's nothing we can do about it. Now, if you'd have broke down at the store, it'd be a different story. But you're at your house. We're not really going to even come out there and waste our time. You'd have to call a locksmith. Oh, the locksmiths out here want to charge way, way too much to try to do that stuff. I was like, look, the window that we busted, actually, I ended up replacing it for. And I think she ended up having to pay, I think it was like 30 bucks for a piece of glass. And that was it. Oh, is that it? I thought it would have been like more like a couple of hundred. Uh, no, the one that I busted was the smallest window, so she just went literally, and I told her where to go, and it cost her like thirty bucks, and I put the glass in there for her and everything, and she ain't had a problem with it since. Yo, that's awesome. <clears throat> that's the struggle of having a car, though. I mean, my sad. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You don't drive, do you not? Uh, not yet, no. <clears throat> yeah, trust me. Save up your money with your money for as long as you can. Cars. If I knew what I knew then, what I know now, bro, cars are absolute money pits. It's literally, if it's <laughs> yeah. not one thing, it's another. It's going to be an expensive affair. Uh, Kevin, you can put it yeah. back up on this. As my best advice as far as when you're first, you know, getting a car and everything, your first car, you want to get a beater car. That way, if something goes wrong with it, it's not going to be something expensive that you got to fix or anything like that. And you're not going to be too worried about it. And then you can save up a little bit of time to get yourself a better car. Yo, you want to stick what? with something? Do you know what? I, I genuinely wish someone told me that when I was getting my first car. I was like, no, I want a good car. I want a decent, awesome car. Because, you know, being young, naive, taught me that I was. I was thinking, it's fine. Mm -hmm. That's going to happen. Ha, 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 ha. I'll just say that the goddamn century. <laughs> my, my first car I paid $500 for, and that thing ran for about six years before I finally killed it. <laughs> yeah, but then... <laughs> Yeah, well, Kevin, you're saying that like you paid like what, $500 for your first car, was it? Yeah, I paid $500 for my first car, and it was a Toyota Corona, like the beer. And, what? and I, had ne I had never heard of one of those cars before when I got it. And I was like, dude, this car is going to be a junker. It probably lasts a couple of months. And like I said, it lasted five years before it finally died. And like I said, I was young, so I never even gave it an oil change or anything until, like, the first year was up. God and when God. I finally did give it an oil change, the guy that gave it the oil change was like, how is this car running? <laughs> Yo, that was awesome. I, I mean, I like, you got five years out of a car that you paid 500 for. So, basically, like, you need to get a hundred dollars a year. That's a bargain and a half. Yep. And the guy I bought it from, it wasn't running when I first bought it. He didn't know what was wrong with it. All I had to do was change out the fuel filter on it. That was it. You lying. I saw that. That was all that was wrong with it. He had it no. sitting in his yard for almost seven years before I got it. And he said in that seven years, he'd only drove it once because he couldn't get it to crank back up. 
God damn! And what? Literally, all you needed was a fuel pump. And how much did that? Did that or the fuel pump? Sorry. And how much did that cost you? I think fifteen bucks. <laughs> yeah, a car for five hundred fifteen bucks for for five years, bro. Like, bro. <laughs> Actually, well, I mean, you also, you also got to think of the time when I bought the car, because I mean, I was hella young back then so i mean back then 15 bucks was expensive for a fuel filter but now you know that's like pennies you know oh yeah <laughs> compared to the real world now 15 bucks ain't a yeah why not to come off the table actually yo, bring it back to the topic at hand my sad and kevin i am sorry like i'm not <laughs> i'm just trying to play around and cater for everyone here <laughs> my sad yo um what was this age 12 months ago youtube wise channel subs views all that no, I didn't start until February, so I haven't been out in 12 months yet, but so far, like, I have over 400, so not too bad. Yeah, now, then you're, like, you're, you're, you're coming up on 12,000 views now, I think. Not I bad, man. Not bad at all. On Instagram, well, I have two, nearly 2,500, so not too bad. That's absolutely insane, yo. I mean, like, to go from zero in February to... 12,000 views and 400 odd fans or uh, 400 odd subs on YouTube as uh, two and a half thousand and uh, followers on Instagram. That is absolutely ridiculous. Like, <laughs> like your boy ain't even hit 10k yet. Huh? My, I was my, like, huh? my God, that's a, that's a pretty good jump right there. I mean, for real. You're doing really good if you hit that many that fast. Because I remember my first year, I, I was stuck at 50 for the entire first year. And then finally I passed it. And I was like, thank God. And once I passed it, that's when I slowly started kind of reaching up. But, I mean, honestly, it's due to the people I've met. Yo, that is so true. Yeah, I should have more, though. I reached 200 the first time. I had, like, 220 in a round. And then I, went, I woke up one morning and I went down to 173. So YouTube deleted like 50 of my subs. So I remember you saying that actually. That, that, that must be like the most unmotivating thing. Yeah, ever. That's, when, that's when YouTube was having its glitch. I remember that. Yeah. That was so fucking bad. I got, oh I got my so god. Shit. My. It, that, that shit was hitting everybody too. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Yo, literally, like, I'm, like I'm, I'm looking down at the, the chat right now and like KitKat is just owning that chat. Yo, shouts to you. The chat's absolutely dead right now. and uh, you're still here thank you <laughs> yeah but, like my sad the amount of like time you put into your songs and then like the promotion on top of that like i see you constantly promoting yourself on um on facebook on instagram on twitter on, yeah 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 on twitter as well that's absolutely like ridiculous yeah i do it as much as i can like i need to i need views <laughs> Oh, that is so true. Like, the, 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 the struggle for views is so goddamn real. Like, I mean, like, but I'm, I'm hella proud of you for going about it the way you're doing it because literally, right, it's like you're, like you're, you're doing your thing and it's hella paying off. I mean, like, screw getting 100 odd views in a week like me. You're getting fucking 100 views in like, like half an hour and like 300 views then in a day. Like, um, <laughs> like what's your, your most your video? I think it's like 6,000 6, views, is it? Was it? I think you most of your video is like six thousand views. Yeah, no, my uh, first one is like four thousand and something. God damn, that's ridiculous, side. Like. You be hella killing it, Kevin Random Nation, the the leader, the all out flat out king of subs right now. <laughs> What's going on, yo? Where were you twelve months ago on YouTube? What was your situation? What was your views? Cause I I know what happened since we all started connecting. Like this thing has just gone blown up. Like, also, anyone who's watching wants to check out my side of Random Nation. If you don't already know them, my side is an awesome rapper. And Random Nation is like the most awesome, most hilarious guy on YouTube. He posts the most random thing and the, the most random content. You know what I'm talking about. Click the link in the description. Y'all know what's up. Okay, let's go. So, Kevin, sorry. And yeah, what is your situation? Like, yeah, 12 months ago till now, how has it been for you? Oh, man. 12 months ago, like I said, I was sitting there with next to no views, uh, hardly any, you know, actual subs. I had about 40 to 50 subs and I'm sitting there, you know, watching my old lady, Amy, she's like 
blowing up and I'm still stuck right there between the 40 and 50. And I'm like, man, what am I doing wrong, man? I'm posting these videos and, you know, I'm, I'm putting a lot of thought into these things. And I had this little skit going on at the time and everything where I had this little puppet I called Hopper. And, you know, I just thought it was hilarious. But then, of course, you know, the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? Apparently, you know, other people must not think it's as funny as I do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it, it takes a lot for that for you to realize that, you know, sometimes your sense of humor isn't exactly the same sense of humor as somebody else's. You know what I'm saying? That's so true. You know, so I'm, I'm sitting there. It's like, what do I need to do to change this? And, you know, finally it just hit me. I was like, you know what? I need to be the person I am in real life on YouTube. I need to quit with the whole skit thing. I need to go with myself, you know, and that's what I started doing. And, you know, after I started doing that, that's when I started meeting people and actually, you know, talking to more people and realizing, hey, if I just do videos that, you know, express how I feel and who I am and all that kind of stuff, people will start understanding me more. And then once they understand me more, then I can go back to my, what I consider funny stuff and they'll understand the jokes more, you know, so there, you know, it took a little bit of a step to get to it and everything. It's like, even you, when you first came over to me, I'm sure you was probably watching my video going, it's kind of so random. There's... It don't make sense, you know, but once you've got to, once you've gotten to know me, of course, you, you're like, okay, this completely makes sense. But at the time, it was just like, what? You know what? I would not change your content for the world. You're literally like one of the most awesome dudes on YouTube. Both of y'all, this is why you're in the stream with me. You two are like two of the most awesome guys that I've ever met on YouTube. And like, and like, that's the thing about it. Like, I remember going over to, go, going over to your streams and I, like, you're like the whole time live streaming as well. I was like, yes, probably what? You know, probably half the reason I'm live, I'm live streaming this right now because um, literally, like, like beforehand, me getting in front of a camera on YouTube, hell no! But seeing my statue in the music videos and you doing the live streams, I remember I even had a had a you know account like ages ago, and like I purposely deleted that because like I was live streaming on that and I was getting nothing done on YouTube. Like I was at like um, I don't know was it like. 70 odd subs on YouTube, like before that, like the spike was like really start taking off, and then it just flatlined. And I was thinking, yeah, this is because like I'm spending, I'm spending way too much time on this. That's it's mm -hmm. half the reason as well why I'm not using my SoundCloud anymore either because there's no view getting, uh, yeah, there's getting no views on SoundCloud. Yeah, that's, one, that's one thing I have learned is if you sit there and stare at your sub count like I was doing to begin with, that thing will never. Move. You have to just kind yeah. of forget that it's even. You have to kind of forget that it's there and just do your videos. You know. Yo, that is so true. Like that is so goddamn true. Like the worst thing you can do is follow your sub count. I don't want this. Who wants to make a YouTube channel? Go ahead, by all means, but do not, for your own sanity, do not um, follow your sub count or keep track of it because it'll go from bad to worse. Like, no, don't get me wrong, it will go up and your, your ego will get inflated and all, like mine, of course. <laughs> but then, literally, it's like a watch pot. It's like to say, a watch pot never boils. <laughs> I must leave that there, but, yeah. It's kind of, It's kind of like sitting in class when you're in school, staring at the clock, waiting for 2 o'clock to come around so you can get out of class. <laughs> you know what? I'm the worst of that. I still do that. <laughs> like, I'm like, like, I'm doing a, a course in college man, now as well. Come on, like, man. Huh? <laughs> well, nowadays y'all got y'all have it a little easier nowadays because when I was in school, we didn't have cell phones like we have now. We still had pagers and stuff like that. So I mean, now if you're sitting in school and you're bored, you can just flip out your phone and start playing a game or something. This is why. This is why I don't do drugs because not me. I'm hyper enough as it is. Like Lord knows, if I was to do anything, it'd be like, well, what's gonna happen? They're like, okay, let's carry on, carry on. Just 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 Stay away from the coffee. <laughs> My sad, I am Steve. Don't you remember? I thought we spoke about this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, got, I, got, I got another good question for everybody. Um, okay, go ahead. Okay, before I ask what was your favorite video you did, now I'm going to ask the opposite. What was the video you don't like the most that you did? My very oh. first one. What's that about that? It was so fucking bad. <laughs> oh, for real? And, and like, I, I thought, I didn't think it was actually that bad. Why, why, why did I like it? Uh, just like the sound quality, the editing, 
the um it went out sync when it went on youtube the um lighting was terrible just absolutely everything i hated <laughs> <laughs> i love that though it's like you also went back to your first few videos and you're like you know what i know what i did around there and you learn from them and that's that basically molds the character mm -hmm. that you have today uh she was gonna say yeah but man, that's that yeah that's, that's right i should be like I, I know. I, I always thought your videos were like spot on. Like I always thought that like your, your your music videos, your editing, your directing was unbelievable. I remember watching that and remember like I remember it was like <clears throat> like before I went to bed and I was watching that like the one of the first few times I met you and literally I spent the whole night just there like bruh, this dude is Irish <laughs> and he's making more moves than I am. <laughs> you killing it on that. Yeah, thanks for that. But yeah, that like, I don't know, like in my personal feeling, that probably be my worst. And my latest one is probably my favorite. So like as time goes on, you know, you just improve and stuff. So, but what would yours be, Atomic? Oh my! <laughs> oh my God! Um. Okay, so I know there might be one. It's person a hard watching. question. Huh? <laughs> it's a hard question. <laughs> it is. Now that you think about it, because. Uh... Okay, um, it's good. I was going to go ahead and say it. Uh, so, my, the, the video on my channel, which I hate the most, is my Calling Me song. Um, the, like the one where the chorus ends in, I can hear him calling me, calling me, calling call, call, call me, calling me. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, <clears throat> like, rhymes that being like, hearing it in my head, I was like, yes, okay, this is going to be like, the darkest track ever, you know, take nine, ain't going to damn thing on the darkest in this. And I was like, I was so hyper when I was making it. And probably because I had such high expectations, that's probably what ruined it for me. Because <laughs> I remember recording and I was thinking, okay, I mean, maybe I can face it up in editing. And then I've done the whole thing in editing and I was thinking, I'm still not feeling this. So I was thinking, okay, maybe it's to do with the volume because <clears throat> I remember I recorded my vocals hella loud for that track. So I was thinking, yo, I'll turn it down and try and get like the, the beat level and the vocal level to kind of bounce off each other like, like the way the song should. And then, it did help a small bit, but then whatever is up with the YouTube rendering thing, it absolutely ruined it. I was like, "Oh my god, Marty!" So I know the issue on that one. Oh, dude, <laughs> you, you already know it. Like YouTube rendering stuff and the quality just goes from there to there, and it's like, "Why YouTube? Why do you do this? You ruining my videos, man!" <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's the it's the most annoying feeling ever. And when when that video went up, I was thinking. Maybe I might have a chance. Then, like, I remember I scheduled it. I had it done like well in time. And then, of course, I was listening to it in private, and I was thinking, <laughs> "Game over, son. Game over." <laughs> what about you, Random Nation? What's your and um, your your like most or least liked video on your channel, whichever way you want to call it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Well, of course, there's the one that I hated doing the most, which, of course, you know which one that is. That's the one where I had to uh, expose a certain somebody. Oh, yeah. Uh, but the, <laughs> Go fishing. But, but <laughs> the one that I I would have to say that I hated the most as far as altogether that I don't like at all would be my very first video, and that was where I had the cat that was meowing every time I sneezed. Right. And, you know, at the time, I thought it was funny and cute. And, and of course, when I, I go back now and I'm watching, I'm going, I'm going, wow, this is not nearly as interesting as it was at the time. <laughs> he, he had a runaway, guys. He said, deuces. Oh, but, um, done. <laughs> yeah, he disappeared on us. He'll be back. But, uh, Fuck you, Ethan. <laughs> he, he must have heard the police car drive by. He said, deuce. But yeah, I'd have to say that was probably my uh, least favorite video. And I think the next one after that would probably be the um, taking Ho Hopper to Walmart. <laughs> it was funny as hell at the time. It's just now it's just like, what? Huh? So Max, what, what got you into wanting to do your YouTube stuff? Like, I just kind of wanted to make music because that's my passion. So I said, I'm going to make a YouTube. I'm pretty well so far. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, talking I was talking to Atomic and everything, and I was telling him, you know, because he was telling me about you, and I was like, I don't know where he's at. I haven't been able to find him yet because I didn't know what your thumbnail looks like. Now I know what it looks like, but 
So I'll definitely have to find <laughs> you after the stream's over <laughs> and add you and oh, everything. Right, but... We can support. Get the support going. Yeah, exactly. That's... Oh, well, Amy lets me know that she had him. <laughs> or has yeah, you. Yeah. I, I think I'm still to ATC. Or not ATC. Amy, sorry. I have her notifications on everything. Yeah. Yeah, she's a pretty good channel. She that's that's the one thing. The best way to grow on YouTube is be friendly with people and you know, just get to where you know people and everything. It's like uh kinda of like a family or something. Exactly, because when I first started and everything, I couldn't grow for anything. I was just stuck. But I wasn't really taking the time to get to know people and I realized, you know, I was subbing all these people, but I wasn't really talking with them. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't staying active as I needed to be and then of course when I got to where I started you know interacting with people more often I noticed that you know the more I talked with them the more they kind of supported me and then of course they'd share me with their friends and it kind of spread out from there like a spider's web basically just you know started one little spot and just kind of kept on going yeah exactly that's pretty cool it's like it's like a spider web just kept growing for you exactly and hopefully you know that's why I was telling my wife a while back and everything you know hopefully one day you know i'm not really in it for the money or anything i just wanted to do it because it's something i actually enjoy doing you know so i'm hoping one day that all of us are like pewdiepie big you know we're the ones that everybody else looks up to yo that is so true sorry i'm just back i, I got like a, a class a girl it, so it's okay like, that it's okay we know the aliens had to adopt you ab, 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 abduct you for a <laughs> second so yeah, just getting the Daniel folks on, you know. It's a, it's a, it's fine. It's a great procedure. <laughs> totally non invasive. Quick procedure. <laughs> no, I was on the phone to my girl there. She was calling and asking everything was. So um, I told her I was on stream, and in fairness to her, she, yo, babe, if you're watching this, I got hella love for you because uh, she literally she was like, um, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you get back to your stream, or whatever. Just give me a call whenever it's done. So much love to you, babe. Shout out to you. Um, yeah, sorry, but um. I feel like I'm missing out on the whole part because Hi, uh, Hi I Tommy C's girl. <laughs> I know it's atomic, but still, what <laughs> on you, Tommy C? <laughs> it's a Tommy C. How can anyone forget this? <laughs> oh my God! It's really what? How long do I spend on YouTube getting called a Tommy C by absolutely everyone? I was like, what the fuck? I'm about to lose my head, like. <laughs> Mind you, at the same time, like it's like people like say my name and sound in it up. I'm sick. Huh? You first came in. Came, when you first showed up on mine and Amy's channels, yeah, I remember seeing, I remember seeing everybody calling you a Tommy C, and I'm going, what are y'all? How do y'all not see this <laughs> comic? Oh, I thought that was like the funniest thing ever. To be honest, like I thought that was like, like, like you, you, you and Amy called me a Tommy C. I was like, you know what? Like you guys are absolutely awesome. Like as people, like you're the coolest people ever. And I was thinking, lad, I'm just gonna run with this. That was the funniest thing ever. You two called me a Tommy C. Because I was thinking, like, I, like at I the same said it time, because. I said it to begin with because I thought it was funny just because the way you had it spelled out and everything. And then everybody else thought that actually was your name, and I was like, guys, it's still the comic. It's a. Um, big. <laughs> Let's literally like I literally remember like and like you saying in the in your thing specifically. It's like okay, a Tom, you know, trying to change the trend. And of course, we had uh, I was gonna name drop a few people there, and we had a few individuals <laughs> talking about <laughs> <laughs> talking about hey Tommy, say what's up, man? And I changed to Tommy, so it was like literally. I just wanted to do a shout out, which. I appreciate it nonetheless, but and time to do the shout out. Yeah, uh, shout out to Brad and Nation, shout out to Baby Girl Amy, shout out to my fab, shout out to Tommy. It was like, how many Tommies are there on YouTube? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> Being absolutely no help at all. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, the, I'm sitting there, and the, it was so funny because I remember seeing so many different shout outs for you, and I'm going, every single one of these people have no clue how to read his name. <laughs> it's <laughs> like me and Amy so said it as a joke, but we also corrected it immediately after we, <laughs> where you knew that we were talking about you. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's the funny thing about it, because, like, like, I knew you and Amy were, like, awesome people. Like, you you were just calling me A Tommy C because you didn't know. And, like, it's not like you were ignoring me on the streams either. Like, I remember, like, the three of us was having, like, the longest, like, 
conversations ever. Like, and then like when you started saying Atomic, I was like, okay, these guys know what's up. They're awesome. So like literally, <clears throat> since I like started going on your streams, that's when I had like the world's respect for both of y'all. Cause like I found out like y'all, you, you two were like the most awesome, <laughs> the, most, the cutest couple ever, but like the most awesome people in general. And I was thinking, okay, I'm in with a good crowd here. These are my people. And of course, lo and behold, a few months later, we got each other's ass on stream, son. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been a, it's been a great few months. It really has. Um, I mean, of course, a lot has changed in the last few months and everything. Yeah, that's but true. you know, I like I like to say that it's changed for the better. Of course, YouTube with its uh, demonetizing a lot of everybody's videos that kind of hurts a lot. But really it has kind of helped us grow and learn how to get around that little roadblock and. You know, we learned that there's a few things you can do to keep it from getting that stuck on you. Now, sometimes, no matter what you do, they're going to say, eh, no, not, not advertiser friendly. But, you know, for the most part, it's like most of my videos are now monetized properly. Yeah. It just took them some time to That's actually nice. go back and watch them and say, oh, okay, he wasn't saying nothing bad. Or, And I keep trying to explain to people, you cannot put the word exposed in the title if you do they think that you're saying <laughs> something bad <laughs> exactly and it's not that whole thing now but like one like special characters that's like like in the title and they think it's like you're like you're like trying to cuss but you're not really pretty much yeah god damn like the algorithm is so messed up like i like your perspective on it though it's like it's about looking at those roadblocks and trying to find a way about it because i feel like since um do y'all remember when that whole controversy with PewDiePie went on and him like telling the people on Fiverr to, I don't know, they, they made a sign saying death to all right. Jews or some of that. Yep, that's exactly what happened. And, you know, people were like, you know, when his latest thing happened, you know, when he he dropped the end bomb and everything in his, in his life. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, God, I can't believe he said that. I'm like, really? Like a couple of months ago, he was saying death to all Jews. I mean, what? what how did y'all not think you would say that? <laughs> and you know, the thing about it is, I thought it was like an accidental sip up until my conversation with you a few days ago, where you're like, um, but think about it, right? He is a multi-millionaire, yeah. and he got shares in YouTube. Publicity is everything these days. Uh, and when mm -hmm. I was like... <laughs> yeah, because I was explaining that to you. I was like, yeah. It's like, dude, think about it. He, he dropped that bomb, and literally millions of people come over to his stream to see what he said. Yeah, it's literally like even like the, the stream could be a few days old and people still be coming over like and oh my god he said it and here's the timestamp and you're such a racist why would you say this and then like actual black people go over there and it's like look man it's all cool we know he didn't mean it in a, in a derogatory way and whatever else it's like like I've seen people. like one or two I've seen like one or two black people where they're like oh I can't believe that he was that racist and I'm going okay but then of course. Most of them are going, dude, he just said it because he was pissed off. It wasn't – he's playing a game, for God's sake. Like, how, many, how many of us can say that we sit there and play a game and don't get pissed off and say random shit? <laughs> Yo, that is so true. I literally, like, I can see about a 12-year-old that play Call of Duty online. <laughs> literally every oh second word is the end bomb. It's like, have you ever actually went on Xbox Live and played with those kids? They cuss more than I do, and I cuss a lot. Yo, that is, that is so true. I cuss like a sailor. Sorry, Aaron, I, I, or my side. Sorry, I can see you're going to say something. Sorry, what are you saying? Yeah, no, I just have to say I have to go. I have to get ready for work. All right, cool, man. Much love. And, yo, thank you so much for coming on for the stream. Yo. I was saying, I was like, this stream ain't never going to happen. And uh, it did happen. I had a praise it. Thank you so much, dude. Stay blessed. Have an awesome day. Mate, you're in the country. And you have to subscribe to the Rat Nation or Atomic. Y'all motherfuckers better subscribe right now. Yo, that, that is so true. And likewise, um, my size link and random nation things are both in the description down below. Y'all know where to go. Get their numbers up. Get random nation to a thousand subs. Get my side to 500. And if you're still watching by me or by now, um, get me to 361. Fair enough, 360. Please, thank you. I wouldn't know what to do if I hit a thousand subs. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all gotta, y'all gotta have like some, some kind of a party plan. You know what I, I mean? Like, that could be absolutely I'll true. probably have to do I'll probably have to do a thousand sub giveaway. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and announce that. I'll do a thousand sub giveaway, giveaway, and I'll have to figure out what I'm going to give away at that before I get there. 
<laughs> Let, let's see. And oh my God, you can give away another mask. <laughs> we can create another monster. <laughs> hey guys, it's no more, no more mask. <laughs> no mask this time. And if that's if if that's the case, when I reach a thousand subs, I'm giving over, giving away a free wedgie. <laughs> a free what? Wedgie. I thought that's what you said. I was like, nah, you lying. He didn't say that. <laughs> I'm giving away a free wedgie, guys. Oh my god, I'm giving away. How do I enter? Okay, so all I give to you right now is comment down below your name and your address, your your credit card, the three numbers on the back, and the expiry date on it. And your enter. <laughs> don't forget it. Don't forget I also need your social security numbers. <laughs> you know, just to make sure I know it's you, you feel me? Just to make sure I know it's what I'm dealing with. Fail me a copy of your ID. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that'd be Pre absolutely preferably, preferably the original copy. <laughs> and preferably if you can, like, maybe a picture of the passport. Like, I know, I know it's a big ass, but I need the security measures, you know? I need to make sure that, like, I'm not being trolled, you know? <laughs> Oh and I only, only need a drop of your blood and a thumbprint. I actually, uh, I had this funny theory a while back, you know, because you know how the phones now, they they are set up to where you can use your fingerprint to unlock the phone, right? Yeah. Well, I had this funny theory because, you know, both your left fingerprint and your right fingerprint are exactly the same. They're just opposite of each other. Are they? Supposedly, that's you no. Know, I don't know if that's actually true or not, but that's what they taught us in school. Now, I think they're full of crap, but still, <laughs> yeah, still, I was like, if that's true, that means I could take my fingerprint from my because I use the one on my right hand usually to unlock my phone, right? I could take my left fingerprint and just flip it, and, <laughs> and I can unlock my phone with it. <laughs> it should be the exact same. I mean, like, the logic is flawless, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, I thought the theory I was going to say with that was that, um, oh, wait, no, it's my internet. Shoot. Well, I'm going to just um, be dead here for a sec and see if this thing starts picking up again, of course. <laughs> um, no, I thought the theory was going to be that, like, yo, you got a fingerprint and they're going to use it for, like, the American government. That, that's where they get, get your fingerprint. There was, like, wait, there was so many memes going on around that. You are, there you are. I almost lost you for a second. Say what? I lost you for a minute. You disappeared. Oh, I, thought that, I, thought that was, I thought that was lost for a second. I was like, no! <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, I literally kept talking because I had no clue what was going on. I was like, yo, I'm going to just keep talking so the stream don't go dead. Which uh, it, it probably already has. <laughs> nope, it still says we're live. <laughs> okay, hell, that works. We even got more viewers than we used to at this stage. We got three viewers now. I, it literally dropped down to one at one stage. I was like, yeah, this is the end of it, guys. I'm just going to wrap this up here now. Uh, <laughs> now, I'm saying, um, like, I thought the theory that you are going to say about the whole fingerprint thing was that, um, the, did you hear the one about, like, the, the, the government trying to get, like, everyone's, like, fingerprints and thumbprints and, like, it's a way of getting it all into their databases, doing it through iPhones? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the popular theory is the government has made these uh, fingerprint devices on your phone. To where it sends the government copies of your fingerprint and stuff. Yeah. And you know, that is a good possibility, at least with American government, because they're crooked as hell. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's right. that's like I don't care. They, 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 they can have my fingerprint. It's not going to do them no good as long as they don't have me. <laughs> yo, that is so true. I mean, like, yo, I don't want to get arrested for like the murders and drug cases. I mean, wait, wait, wait. Is this time? What is this time? <laughs> yeah, that's the I mean, like, like the way I've always thought about it is, unless they're looking for Osama bin Gaddam Latin, then they're gonna find shit on me. Like, and like, like I said, it's the exact same for you. I mean, I can't imagine you to be Pablo Escobar. Like, yeah, um, I live in a, a normal enough house, but yo, I got a three billion dollar cartel down in Mexico. If you wanna go check it out, guys, here's the keys. I'll let y'all in. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Don't show someone watching this is gonna take it like way too literally. Like when I'm pretty up, sure I'm pretty sure like if I was doing something major, I would not save it on any kind of internet database. It would be on a computer that's completely unplugged from the internet to where nobody would ever be able to get into it from the outside. You yeah, know so I, I would I would not plug it into the internet for everybody to get into it. I would 
keep it just like right there. And if I had to send word out, I would literally have somebody walk out the door and send the message, not. Yo, that's something I have never understand. It's like, um, well, <laughs> and yo, that is something I have never understood. It's like, um, like people going on to the, the internet and like, yo, blasting about like, even in rap songs, the amount of court cases that have come up because of rap songs. Like yep. people literally yep. go on, do you know that, um, that Bobby There was Charter one song? a couple of years ago where a guy made a rap song about a murder and it turned out he gave out exact details of a murder that actually happened, and he got arrested for it. Yeah. Yeah, that was then. What's it? <laughs> Bitch caught a body about a week ago. So something now we tweak it up. <laughs> it's like, like that. That song's huge as well. It's not like it went up on YouTube for a few like a few minutes and then got forgotten. That song like became a trend. <laughs> like I think yep. this whole squad now are like they're they're literally doing live in prison right now. Yep. Yep. Winch, of course, as rich as he is, he'll get out before he dies in prison, but still. <laughs> Yo, that is so true. It's like, like, actually, yeah, I think there's only been like one person ever that outlived their, their, uh, their prison sentence for one life reason sentence. or another. Like, He's one person that outlive is going to outlive his life sentence. <laughs> oh, yeah, de definitely. Like, I mean, like, no chance he's going to get like the, the chair or anything like that. I mean, Prison for life? Nah, I can't imagine it. For a murder? With, with like a whole gang of people? I mean, nah, should be all right, like. <laughs> Give it a couple of weeks, it'll be good. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's like that, um, that Take K guy now. There's like, people are like, oh, free Take K. He's an awesome rapper. He's so young, he got a huge future ahead of him. You do know why what? he's in prison, right? Between murder, assault, uh, robbery, um, with this whole group of people. Yeah, I'm sure he's a perfectly safe individual to have around the place. I mean, well, young, we all kill people at some stage in our lives, right? I mean, it's a simple, innocent mistake, you know? It's like it happens every other day. I no mean, big deal. Like, <laughs> like, I mean, really, what is it to it? In all honesty, like, it's just a poor little kid. He, he trying to make his way in music, and as soon as he catches the buzz, he gets arrested. You know what? That's racist. Just because he's a young African American kid and you wanna not to lock him up behind bars just because he killed someone. That's racist. Why are you doing this, Trump? It's like Yeah. Yeah, I'm sitting there watching this thing on TV and everything right now. They're talking about the solar flares that's been going on. And it's actually oh, pretty yeah. it's I'm watching the graphics they put into it and I'm like, man, I wish my computer could handle those kind of graphics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, you got a new, uh, new laptop lately. How's that been going for you? Uh, going pretty good, actually. While when we first started the stream, I was working on finishing burning a DVD. Finally, oh, I went. Um, I went. To, yeah, I went yeah. to the store earlier and bought some blank DVDs. So I burnt my first DVD. With. What is it? Uh, rainbows? Is, it, is that the that, that word we we're talking about earlier? <laughs> no, no, awesome. for real though. I mean, like I said, it's it's not illegal to burn DVDs and everything. It's not illegal to. Uh, you know, make copies of movies. As long as you're not out, you know, trying to sell them and stuff, you're good. Yeah, that's you know? so true. Yeah. The, the main thing is, is the reason why they get so mad is because the fact that you got people that'll go out there and they'll burn a bunch of copies of a movie and then they'll sell it for, you know, cheap. Yeah. You know, so it ends up cutting into their profit and that person's making profit off of it itself. So, I mean, you know, I'm making them for personal use. So I'm good. <laughs> Personal use, guys. Personal use. Don't go after this guy. <laughs> but that's the thing about it. Like, I mean, like, if people are going to, like, like do things like that, and, like, even even down to selling goddamn drugs, I mean, I don't condone it at all, but, like, the amount of people who go on blast about it, like, yeah, man, this guy's just eight ball in, uh, hit me up for quotes. It's like, oh, uh, and then you wonder why you're being hounded the whole time. Like dead God, seriously, yeah. dead, dead seriously. I think it was probably about two, three years ago. I was watching a YouTube channel, and I had been watching this guy for a while. Yeah. But I'm sitting there just watching one of his live streams, and he literally pulls out a little bag of cocaine and just pours it out on the table right there on the live stream, and he's sitting there snorting it. And I'm like, "You are an idiot." 
I kid you not, the very next night he's doing another live stream and the police raided him in the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's I was like, brother. wow. <laughs> it's like he he's sitting there, he's like, somebody's knocking at the door, guys. Hold on one second before he could even get out of his chair, his door's getting kicked in. Here comes a whole SWAT team full of people. And <laughs> I just burst out laughing. I was like, Yeah, he's going to prison. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that is so true. I mean, like, literally, like, there's a reason you don't put some things on blast. Like, it's literally that bad. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, no, I, I don't deserve to go to prison at all. I'm such a good guy. I mean, all I was doing was cocaine. It's like some people well, preaching the Bible. He apparently, he got, arrested, he got arrested that night, and like three or four days later, he had apparently bonded out or whatever. But he tried to use the excuse, said, Oh, they had to let me go because they didn't have nothing on me. Uh, the stuff that you see me snorting in my live stream before was just Goody's headache powder because I had a high migraine and I was trying. It's like you don't snort Goody's headache powder. <laughs> what are you talking about? You eat that. It's like there's a bit of a difference. Like, like even um, like th there used to be a channel I was following like ages ago. I think like the name was literally called "It's Me, Bitches" or like something like that. And literally. Every video they put up, which no surprise the channel is today to now, every video they put up is, um, yeah, uh, I'm selling this weed right now, and it's literally like the packet in front of the camera and all, uh, like, I don't know, like $25 or whatever, it's like, what the hell are you doing? Like, you can't run that over the internet. The dark web, maybe, but not the main internet where everyone's seeing it. Like, what are you at? Well, I mean, if you was in some place like, I don't know, Amsterdam, you might be able to get away with it, but 90% of people that, 90 of the people that's on YouTube are either from India or America. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, I know, are they? I see a lot of like... I mean, legitimately thinking, I mean, yes, a lot of my subs are from England, the UK, I got a couple from Ireland, a couple from Ireland. I got um, <laughs> about four of them that's from Australia, and the rest of them are pretty much India and America. Oh, really? Which the ones uh -huh. from India, you know, don't get me wrong, no hate against them or anything, because the fact that, you know, they're pretty active as far as, you know, they'll come over there and comment, great video, big like, or... You know, something like that and everything. You know, because yeah. of that, they don't speak, you know, the best of English and everything. So, you know, they don't really put a whole lot in there. And then, of course, you got people that will hate on them because of the fact they don't say a whole lot. And I'm like, dude, they don't really speak a whole lot of English. They're trying to be nice by showing support. Yeah. True, actually. I never really thought about that. Like, I've actually, that I, got one, I got one in particular. It's a young girl. She's from India. And she don't speak any English except for the words "great video." That's the only word she knows how to even say or anything in English. Yeah, like, that's okay. like, I don't mind. Yeah, like I, I don't mind people having like um. She learned you know, that specifically and... for YouTube. She literally learned that specifically for YouTube. So she kept commenting on my videos. So one day I was sitting there trying to talk to her, and she wasn't responding. I was like, okay. So I go over to her channel. I kind of watch it a few times, and I you know, kind of listen to the dialect and I learn where she's from and all that kind of stuff. And so finally I get on Google and I look up how to say, you know, I appreciate your support, you know, stuff like that and everything in her language. And I send it back to her. Yeah. And she finally sends me a page long response to me. Ah. You know, let me know, that, let me know, Hey, I'm sorry. I don't really put anything more than what I do in your comments. You know, I really love your channel. She's like, I wish I really understood English better and everything. She goes, you know, she's like, I don't speak it well, but I do understand it more than I can speak it. And she goes, I love your channel. It's so funny. I sit there and watch it all the time. And she was really cool. You know, so I sat there and I kept talking back and forth to her and everything. And she's the sweetest little girl and everything. I don't remember what her channel name was off the top of my head, but. You yeah. know, we talked for about two weeks, you know, just back and forth, you know, so I could learn a little bit about her culture and my culture and back and Duh. forth. And, and did, did you, like, learn you know, it was it? really cool. It, yeah, it was, it, well, I did. I did actually learn quite a bit from it. Okay. Um, the main thing is I was learning some of the differences, you know, because, like, a lot of these 
people that's from you know the Arabian countries or the Indian type countries. Yeah. You know, they'll say they'll wear the mask or they'll wear the uh, what do you call that thing? The uh, oh, the yeah, 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 it's a mask. Part, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they'll wear that thing, and I'm sitting there going, why don't they show their face? Because I never really understood that. I was like, it don't make no sense. But, of course, once I got talking to her, she explained, mm-hmm. in their country, you know, it's a sign of respect covering your face. If you uncover your face as a female, it's, you know, you're pretty much being what we in America would call a hoe. I mean, that's the best way to put it. Oh, Wow. I didn't think it was that bad. Like it was like the, the breakout and everything. It's like like I thought it was more like a religion thing, kind of thing. Most some of them really kind of go towards the religion thing, but she just literally explained it the best way she could. She said, "Really, it's mainly because of the fact that if you are showing your face, it means you're trying to attract somebody. You're trying to get somebody's attention, and you're going against ever. You're going against your beliefs as far as you know religious beliefs and everything. So you're pretty much." Yeah, like right. if a girl in America shows off a little too much cleavage, you're gonna be like, "Oh, wait a second, yeah, yeah, yeah." I guess off the face. It, it's the same kind of principle to them. I suppose, yeah, actually, it's, yeah. I I know it's like like, like that's something like I never even thought about. Like um, like it was like something to do with the culture and like respect and all that. But I didn't actually really know too much of the ins and outs of it. Like so, hearing all this is actually really interesting. It it is really interesting, and honestly, I would love a chance to actually get to talk to some people more and learn more about their culture and stuff. And it's not that I want to convert their culture or anything. It's just I like I like knowing stuff. I'm a knowledge person. I like going out and learning different stuff every day, yeah. Hey, knowledge is power. Like, that's what like, I love, like, um, talking to people, like, from outside of Ireland, because, like, that means, like, I learn more about their culture rather than just being, like, having, having it in close to my mind, like, just about what's going on in my life, that kind of way. So it's, um... So it's actually good to like, you know, talk to people, embrace other people's cultures, and just learn more. Because like, because like I say, it is power, and whether exactly. people know it or not, it's like. <laughs> well, it's kind of like we was talking about sending candy back and forth. You know, American candy versus the Irish oh, yeah, candy. Yeah, we need to get that actually. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we was talking about that and everything, and I was like, that'd be a great idea. And I was even talking to Trends Plays, which. Oh yeah, he was talking earlier as well. Yeah, I was I was talking to Trends Plays and everything, telling him, hey, we could probably do the same thing with him too, you know, because he he lives over in Australia, so he's got stuff that we don't have over here, just like he he's got stuff that y'all don't have over there. Uh, just make this into a three way we'll send things back and forth and everything to where we can learn a little bit more about each other's culture. <clears throat> yeah, true. Actually, like that actually a really interesting kind of thing to do because um, oh my, like I heard him talking. I thought he was like from like the UK or somewhere. Then maybe because it's been a bit quiet or whatever, but um, yeah, that'd be awesome. Like sending things back and forth like that are um, exclusive to Ireland, the USA, and Australia, because then like that's your you kind of get a taste of something you wouldn't normally have, like and like honestly, I'm a foodie, so like food for me, I'm just like okay, I'll take it like, right now. <laughs> Yeah, I told I told I told Trends. I said, "Man, if I could just bag up some of my some of my wife spaghetti and just send it to you." <laughs> <laughs> What's that? And that M M&M and N thing, <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. I can imagine. I can imagine when they run that through the X ray machine at the airport, they're going, "Is this? Are they milling worms?" <laughs> yeah. I, th- I think there's like rules on it. It's like you can you, you can't send something that's like got an expiration date or due to expire. Or yeah, like that. It, yeah, it has to have at least a six months to a year expiration on it. So, God damn, it, it's got its it's got its little rules and stuff. In each area, like you can't send fruits, you can't send vegetables because the pests that could be on it and everything, you know. So it's illegal. It's the same thing as like trying to put a. You know, like if you go down to Brazil and you try to get some bananas and bring them back up here to America, they're just not going to let you bring it. You know, they're going to say, no, you can't take it because it could have bugs or something in it. And you're taking a bug from down there and bringing it up here and then it could multiply and it could completely screw up the ecosystem. I'm like, couldn't they just crawl up here to begin with? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yo, honestly, I was like, this team's been going for like well over an hour. Ain't no one going to watch the video after this. So I'm thinking... I'll, I'll keep this conversation going too. 
I was like, oh, but I'm just gonna like end this on YouTube first. And so um, this is like the, the things I got like it's it's already gone way too long. I'm just like cut it off here. <laughs> but then sounds yeah, good, sounds so, good, man. All right, well, so, guys, guys, it was good to be here. I appreciate you, Atomic, bring me over into the stream and everything. And if anybody's still in the chat, which I don't know if they are because I can't see it, but thank you for coming by, and y'all have a random day. Thank you. And, yeah, and my channel's on the chat earlier, too. So, like I said, links to both of their channels are in the description down below. Check them out. They're two of the most awesome dudes I know up on, up on here. And, and they're, the content, like, my sad content is all rap music, and it's awesome as hell. And Kevin's content that I'm talking to now, he makes, like, random vlogs and just random everything. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. And he's a, he's a hilarious dude. Be sure to check him out and show him love. All right, Bomb Squad. I'm going to wrap this up here if anyone's still watching. And, um, yeah, okay, we got, like, three people watching, apparently. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to wrap this up here. And thank you all for tuning in. And let's just say um, next live stream at 1,000 subs. Screw it. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Much love, y'all. Bless.